let's be honest, the command line interface, or CLI, can do it all. It has the power to help you access your switch, perform commands, and do much, much more. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show you how to use the CLI to change CBS firmware. Next. To first get into the CLI of our switch, we need to have PuTTY installed on our computer. For our settings, we have COM3 as our serial line. That is where our USB serial cable is plugged in on our computer. We need to make sure our speed is 115,200. If we left the speed at the default number of 9,600, we would not be able to load the CLI. Once our settings are entered, we can click Open. All right, it's time to jump into the CLI and start our update. Once logged into the switch, we'll check out which version of firmware we're currently using. We can enter the command show version and see that our version is 3.0.0.61. It's time to change our firmware. We'll type in the command boot system followed by TFTP and the IP address of the server. In this case, the IP address is from our computer because that's where the TFTP application is. After that, we'll enter in a forward slash and the name of our file, which was cbsswitchfirmware.bin. We'll hit enter. And look at that. We can see that it is grabbing that file from the TFTP server. Now that that's completed successfully, we can now check to make sure the new firmware is shown. Let's enter in the command show version. We can see that it still says version 3.0.0.61 but it also shows that version 3.0.0.69 will be activated after a reboot. So all we have to do is reboot. We can do that by entering the command reload. We'll type Y to continue. Once it reloads, we'll need to sign back in. Once inside, we'll enter show version one last time. As we can see, it now says our version is 3.0.0.69 and that is all there is to it. Before we wrap up, here are a few of the commands we use today. It's that easy. That's how to change the CBS firmware through the CLI. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.